Blake Laurie, 10 metres out, still looking for his first try in the NRL in game 76. Clune at the line, Norman, cut out ball, they pick them apart, lovely play by the Dragons, Matthew Fionnay scores the try, and off the back of the pressure, which came from the Papa Lee E mistake, it's the Dragons on top early. Haven't offered much in this set of six so far. Whitehead's kick will have them under pressure though. Tap back into the field of play. And this might be a try for Jordan Rappiner. Terrific work. Is it Harley Smith Shields getting through and tapping it back? To Bell. He finds Clune, takes him on and goes straight past Hudson Young. He's got support on the outside. Tarek Sims is there. Goes in, goes away. He'll be tackled short of the line, but slides in to score for the Dragons. Oh, it's good to see him back himself there that time. Tarek Sims gets over the stripe. That's his fourth try of the season. An old-fashioned shepherd, or instruction as we call it, Williams. A kick, Lomax flying, beaten though by Jack Whiten. Two aerial specialists going head-to-head. -head. What a leap by Jack Whiten. Lots of conservative sets before they scored their first points of the night, the Raiders. Now Starling from dummy half, Bird was very slow in moving up there. It just spun him around, just the momentum, just spins him around in the tackle. Starling finds himself over the strike there. Williams, another kick, another chance. Wyden is there, Ravalawa can't come up with it. Papali'i can, he fends away, stays alive, and the big Papa, Papa Bear. Ravalawa, a little non-plus that there was we'll a the kick chased everything else up to way. this point. Oh, that ball left. touches Jack Whiten's finger and is knocked on. Index yeah. finger of Jack Whiten. Knocked on in, into Ravalara. That was the last tackle. Good call, they've got it. Boy, go. Yeah, a long way to putting the Dragons to bed Wait. in this set. Papali'i. Plays it for Starling. Williams now floating. Whiten is out. Ravalara coming in. Off the wing, jamming in, missing. Lomax didn't miss, he got Jack White and high. Your thought? Ravalawa missed, Lomax didn't. There was no question about that. The contact was minimal, but it was, certainly was high. Not many better goal kickers in the comp than this bloke. Kicking it just on 93% for the season. Season in which, of course, he missed plenty of game time through the serious shoulder injury. The kick is a good one. He'll make it an eight-point lead. He has scored the only try of this second half. It's been enough in the end for the Raiders to get two vital premiership points. It hasn't always been impressive, but they've done enough tonight. Yeah, they've had enough ball to win, haven't they? The Saints just not good enough. Not enough spark in their side. Anyone to score any sort of tries, they had enough ball down on the Raiders line. It was only four minutes in the second half and Starling scored. So it's been a tough old grind here the second half. Well, use up a couple more seconds, bit of gamesmanship from Hanson Young. That'll do tonight. That's an important win. Big games to come for Canberra. But tonight, they've helped their own cause in a four-point game against the Dragons and hurt their opposition at the same time. At full time, Canberra 20, the Dragons 12.